Hi guys, you're welcome back to the channel. My name is Selassie Travis and I am back with another tutorial. So this is a continuation of my previous tutorial on the basic bodice pattern where I showed you how to easily get the bust dart. Okay? So on today's tutorial, I am going to be making some alteration on this pattern in order to accommodate a sleeve. When I was drafting the pattern previously, I used less amount of ease, which was just suitable for a sleeveless bodice. Take for example, my upper bust has about three inches ease, which happens to be the standard amount of ease you need around the upper bust for a sleeveless bodice. But because I'm going to be using this pattern with a sleeve right now, I would need to alter this pattern to accommodate a sleeve by increasing the amount of ease I already have around the upper bust. So after much research, I found that the standard amount of ease that is needed around the upper bust for a sleeve block, that is a bodice you intend to use with a sleeve, is five inches. So this is standard, guys. This five inches is standard for everybody and this five inches also needs to be properly distributed between the front and the back pattern in a certain manner. But I cannot really go deep into this on this tutorial, but in the future, I intend to do a basic bodice tutorial for a model with a larger cup size. And guys, by the way, my cup size is a B cup, which means my bus circumference is two inches larger than my upper bust circumference. But in my forthcoming tutorial, I'm going to be working on a model with a D cup, which means a bust circumference is four inches larger than an upper bust. And in the forthcoming tutorial, I will be showing you how to properly distribute the standard five inches upper bust ease between the front and the back pattern. But for now, let's just jump right into altering this pattern to accommodate a sleeve. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is to draw a straight line to connect the front bodies and the back bodies at the MO level. Okay, so I need this as a guide. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to come down from this horizontal line just drawn one inch and then draw another horizontal line, making sure this horizontal line is on a 90 degree angle. I am doing this process because I want to um, drop the ammo depth of both the front and the back pattern with one inch. So guys, remember I said you need a standard ease of five inches around the upper bust for a sleeve block. But on my pattern right now, I have precisely three and one eighth inches around my upper bust. So I would need to add one and seven eighths inches ease on my upper bust line, okay? So I've done my calculations and I know just how much to add to the front and how much to add to the back, okay? Now on the front pattern, I'm going to come out on this horizontal line at the side seam and mark out three eighths of an inch, which is equivalent to one centimeters. And on the back, I'm going to come out on the horizontal line and mark half of an inch. So this is going to complete my five inches ease, which I need around the upper bust circumference on my pattern. Okay. Next, I'm going to be adding some amount of ease on the shoulder width. Okay. To do this, I'm going to extend the shoulder line of both the front and the back pattern like so. And then I'm going to extend the shoulder width with three eighths of an inch and do the same for the back pattern as well. Next, I'm going to locate the mid MO and then I'm just going to mark out three over 16 of an inch. Next, I'm going to locate the mid MO of the front pattern 
and then I'm going to mark out three over sixteen of an inch just like I did for the back. Now using my French curve, I'm going to connect these three points together to draw the new MO. All right, now this is the new MO for the sleeve block. Next, I would need to add some amount of ease on the waistline. Now I'm going to come out of the waistline on both the front and the back and add quarter of an inch. So adding quarter of an inch on both the front and the back is going to give you a total of one inch ease around your waist circumference. Now I'm going to connect the underarm to the point on the waistline like so. And then taking my French ruler, I'm going to true the side seam of the waistline. Now before drawing the side seam of the front pattern, I would have to close the bust dart. So this will enable me to be able to draw the side seam accurately okay next after drawing the side seam I'm going to go in with my tracing wheel just to copy the outline of the dart this will enable me to um, draw out the dart properly okay Then I'm going to go in with my French curve and chew the waistline toward the side seam of the front bodies like so. And guys, I am done with altering this pattern to accommodate a sleeve. So because I adjusted my pattern like so, I've ended up with more ease around the bust level. So right now, I don't only have five inches ease at the upper bust. I also have two inches ease around the bust circumference and one inch ease around the waist. So now guys, I've gone ahead to copy the pattern on the fresh paper and I redrew my bust darts and my waist dart because I'm going to be sewing the dart. So I came down a certain amount from the bust points. I've already covered this in a previous tutorial. And for the back pattern, I eliminated the shoulder dart. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a tutorial to show you how to eliminate the shoulder dart without altering the width of the MO. And here guys, this is what I have. I would advise that you sew this up on the muslin to see the feet first and just to be sure you're comfortable with the amount of ease you have on the pattern, okay? I have tried this, I've tried five inch ease for a sleeve, I've tried three inch ease for a sleeve, and they both work perfectly fine for me. You know, the five inch ease around the upper bust is very comfortable and breathable, but the three inch ease I've tried was just okay. It was very close fitted, but it, it was, tolerable for me okay um yeah so guys um make sure you make the necessary adjustments you need to make before you draft the sleeve for the pattern okay and here guys we've come to the end of this tutorial i do hope you find this video helpful if you do remember to like this video leave a comment and subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time Bye-bye.